Dr. Nina, and this is Dr. Bonham's Committee with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Generation Voyager class Blitzwing. Now the Generation line finally brings fans what they've wanted in terms of classics for a very long time. That being triple changers. And Blitzwing comes to us amidst a lot of controversy. This guy is all over the spectrum in terms of reviews, whether uh, some people love him, some people hate him. But I will be the definitive voice when it comes to this guy. All right, well, not really the definitive voice. But I will give you guys an honest opinion, which you have come to know, and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. So taking a look at the packaging, obviously you see celebrating a thrilling 30 years. God. It's amazing. Transformers came out in 1984. I feel old. <laughs> you do see it says it's a triple changer. You go from a robot to a jet to a tank. And it does have a, a level two intermediate transformation. Come around here to the side. You just got an image here of the Decepticon logo, Blitzwing. Um, well, and then on this side is just a continuation of the front image, which is really cool. And a nice Decepticon logo here. Come around to the bottom. And you got the other figure currently uh, out from the Generations line, that being Springer. Then you come around here to the back. And you have the robot mode, tank mode, and of course the jet mode. It does have three faces, which I'll get into. Uh, and then for the, the bio, it says Blitzwing. Within his heavily armored and highly destructive body, Blitzwing has the ice cold mind of a master strategist. Sometimes. At other times, he's a boiling cauldron of rage, waiting for any excuse to unleash his firepower on the nearest target. And now and again, he's a chaotic whirlwind of bizarre behavior and intermittent bursts of plasma fire. His unpredictability makes him a poor soldier, but his raw firepower and unstable mind make him a useful tool for a commander as capable as Megatron. Uh, now, the bio really kind of lends towards the, the whole three-phase thing, something that only existed in Transformers Animated. And to be totally honest, I'm not a really big fan of having that included in this. Now, some people will be like, oh, get over it. It's, you know, celebrating Transformers and it's incorporating. Yeah, I, I understand that. I personally don't care for it too much. Uh, and his personality, it... it, it this depicts him as being kind of all over the place, much much like the animated one where the head kind of controlled different personalities. There was one kind of smart guy, there was a crazy psycho guy, and there was a, well, the crazy psycho guy was more fun than anything. And then you had the, the angry German sounding one who just wanted to blow things up all the time. I'm Blitzwing! I mean, that's basically what you had, and the G1 version didn't have that, so I... I I, I, I appreciate what they did. I just, I just, I'm not a big fan of it. But there's the packaging for them. So I'm really curious to see how this guy really kind of lives up. I know other people have gotten them, like I said. Some either really like him or really dislike him. So let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. Okay, so here we have Blitzwing open up and out of its packaging, and obviously here in its tank form. Now, now of his alternate mode, the, the jet and the tank, I really think that the, the tank here is probably his best looking. It's the most compact and, and just, I, I think, functions a little bit better in terms of an aesthetic look uh, than his jet. The robot mode, I think, is his best uh, of, all, all, of all of his forms. But in terms of vehicle forms, I think that the tank mode is the best looking. Now, the figure in general, I really don't think is all that bad. It's not as good as a lot of people, I think, were really kind of hoping he would be but i don't think he's as bad as people are making him out to so hopefully we're, we're going to get a real good look at him now one thing that you're going to notice is the the different color tan right here that does kind of throw me off because it, it really looks like this piece right here is all separate but it also looks like it was painted as opposed to everything else where you have a a darker kind of tan this is more of a, a peach kind of flesh color and i don't necessarily know why they couldn't have given it the same color as this uh, you could have just molded this particular piece here in in this same color it, plastic it, it just doesn't make any sense but it kind of throws it off when you look at it that's kind of a like glaring uh, look, ugh, look at that so it is kind of ugly uh then you come around here to the back and things again start getting more ugly now as a triple changer who really has to kind of look like a tank as well as a jet two very human or earth modes you're going to run into some problems uh, like all triple changers in in the past some modes look better than the other ones and you, you have to sacrifice some stuff and that's definitely what's going on here with blitz ring now blitz ring blitz wing now his uh turret here can rotate it also can angle up and down just as kind of part of the transformation it doesn't get much and you know like uh, you, you do that you angle it up and then it pops down so uh it, it can sort of do it uh, not perfectly but it is possible uh the the giant cannon here in the front i honestly think is upside down uh, it's y y and i looked at the package the package has it is right but it's or th this is how it looks on the package it's just it, 
really kind of weird. You would think that this bottom section, which is kind of like a, a, a target sight thing, would be on the top. I, I don't know anything about tanks to know if that's accurate or not, but you, you would just think it would look better like that. In my only way of comparing it, it it's like a gun. On a gun, the, the little sight thing is at the top of the barrel. So, And then if you just take this and pull it back... It launches his missile, which is very cool, although I do wish that this could stay in, especially in jet mode, and I'll show that off here in a little bit, but you got that. And then he does have his uh, gun and his sword pegged in the top here that just untap, and then you got holes here. I guess you can put it there on the side. So removing that, uh, that's what you're looking at in terms of the tank. You, you can see that because of just i i i don't know why uh, because of i don't know it, it you can kind of see that it doesn't really look like he's uh, straight it it kind of looks like he's slanted and that's one of the biggest problems with this that there's not a lot of cohesiveness it seems it, it just it, it's very kind of sloppy looking uh, and then when you transform them you do have to be very careful to make sure that you get these pegged in here properly the sections here and here and i'll show that off here in a bit but take mode that's what you're looking at uh you know I, I think that this is the ugliest section here of the tank mode that the back section but all in all i think it holds together fairly well it's it's not too bad looking and it, it works for me so that there's there's this tank now to transform it into his jet it's actually fairly easy to do we're going to go from tank to jet and just rotate these up get those out of the way like that we're going to come around here we're going to untab these from that side just like so I'm gonna angle up so you can actually see what's going on and then these front sections fold out and then when you fold these out you might as well just pull these out as well and then take this and then you're gonna tuck this up and under and then this whole section right here kind of accordions in on itself just like so then do that on this side as well come around here lift this section this pegs in there very securely push these wings out fold this section up and in bring this down accordion this section down like so you're going to take these little bits right here and i, I love the fact that they do this uh, where they come up here and kind of fill in a gap it's really cool you want to fold these down and just get a good push and tuck them all the way in and then you're going to bring them in just like so and then rotate these all the way around rotate the wings to the outside just like so and then you want to come around here you can detach this canopy or uh, that, i don't even know what you call it i don't know anything about planes the the nose cone section you're going to fold this up and then you're going to fold this bit and get this out of the way here and then this is going to fold down so that folds in like so you're probably gonna knock some stuff out but providing you keep everything in the general area like keep these pegged in because that's they, they're in the same position whether it's tank mode or jet mode so bring this in clip this all the way down and you're gonna bring this up rotate these thruster bits around do that on that side as well and then on the inside here and it's kind of hard to see you got this little purple bit that kind of jets out it's going to tab in there so you have to bring that in and you'll feel it click if you get it lined up and give it a push it will sort of click into place and you sort of could hear it let me see if i can get this one to be a little bit louder there just like so so angle these up straighten that out and then keep that positioned nicely and then actually these little bits right here you can kind of see that section here you want to push that down that locks that down into place do that on both sides just like so straighten out these little fins i love that you can open these up and it's weird you so you got this little gap right here which you wouldn't think but big deal right there's actually a little section here that you can fold this just ever so slightly literally that's without it that's with it i mean it just makes it a straight line which is really very cool you, you wouldn't even think that they would include that but they did and it's a piece of engineering that i really appreciate and i think is very nice on this and uh there you have him in his jet mode now as i mentioned the turret when it would go in i wish it because it's just sticking out there uh and, and that's really kind of ugly i wish it would sit in 
a whole lot more because that I think looks a little bit better than it hanging out towards the back. And uh, I mean, the the, the jet mode, it, it's okay. It, it, it obviously looks like a jet. This is what I think the weakest mode is, but it's still not all that bad, I, I don't really think. Uh, he does have landing gear here, which are kind of a pain for me to get out because of the whole finger nail thing. There you go. Uh, they're, they're not actual wheels. It's just a little post right there, but then you've got a little makeshift wheel there, so you can kind of have them sitting there like so. And then again, you can take these guns and you can peg them in there if you really want to. Uh, you can actually, in the instructions, actually show this, that you can make this a, an attack mode. Uh, just angle this out and you can have him fly with his cannon underneath there. Uh, again, stupid if you ask me i don't think it works all that good and then this is where you're seeing some of the ugliness with them i mean big giant gap right through there and then even when you have the, the actual cannon right there it, it's still kind of gappy and it's weak it, it's 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 that's all i can say it, it's it's a it's it's a, a good attempt it, it utilizes what it can it gives you what it can based on this particular mold obviously and it, it, it conveys a jet i mean it's obviously a jet it, it's just not the the prettiest looking of jet uh the canopy for this actually can open too um it opens backwards which is kind of weird but you can kind of sort of open it like that i guess um the nose cone people have complained about the nose cone uh staying up where it's supposed to and yes that is a uh a problem that i've uh, had on mine you can see it kind of separating just that's because the head doesn't lock down but again we'll get to that in a little bit but there's the jet mode for the guy uh, like i said it is the weakest of the two alt modes i think but it's still uh, for a triple changer it, it still works i guess now, the robot mode really is what i think is, is the, the best of all the modes for this guy so to transform him into that first come around here again to the legs and you're going to pull these little bits out just like so and then rotate them around just like that i'm going to take these uh tuck these in push that in rotate these around so that you got the treads in the front and then you also you got the herbs or the, the knee joint there do that on this side as well rotate that around uh, get the wings tucked in obviously then you can take the feet you're going to just angle these however you want open these some people open these or have these open during the the jet mode they look like thrusters but and i don't really think they look like thrusters so do that on the opposite side as well like so and uh as i said just kind of tuck these in as far as you can they are still going to stick out a little bit but yeah what are you gonna do right so get that straightened out and here you have his legs done with a giant floppy mess here in the middle of them and actually i had that wrong because this is the front so rotate them around like so so sorry about that so this is the front of them and then you want to have these on the outside so i had that a little reversed but that's easy to fix guys right so there you have his legs done fairly nicely then these arms angling up so you can see it just kind of lift this up bring this out bring this down you're going to rotate this all the way around do that as well here rotate that all the way around take this gun thing you're going to angle this up and you're going to tuck it just like so so it's kind of straight and then take this section here you're going to fold this back this is uh, gonna loosen up and then you fold this and then kind of pull this out from underneath here, fold that out and then again, his head just springs out. So really kind of sucks, get that out of the way. And then just kind of angle this, you're gonna tuck that kind of there, pull that up along its back, kind of bring this out. Now, well, I guess I should finish transforming them. Bring the, uh, the arms up here and then you're gonna rotate these all the way around fold this bit in then rotate that arm around like so do that on this side as well fold this up then rotate that around fold this section in rotate his arm around and then kind of angle this down like so uh and here you have blitzwing basically in his uh robot mode now th th there have been some very strong complaints and criticisms about this particular guy the bolt most being here in his shoulders and i still don't have that straightened out all the way uh, because in bomb matrix's review he really kind of complained about this and how you lift this up 
and it doesn't lock the arms into place. And he thought that that really sucked. And that really does kind of suck. Then Pia came and he did his review of it. And he showed this little uh, trick uh, where you like bend, bend it here and it locks it. You put it there or something uh, on an angle. You push it in there and then it's supposed to lock it. Well, there have, as far as I know, there hasn't been anybody else who's been able to replicate that same kind of fix, I suppose, that PR was able to do. So a lot of people really uh, were, were complaining about Bolt Matrix's review saying, well, you did it wrong. You didn't transform it right. And if you want to know how to do it, go watch PR's. Well, no offense to, to PR's review, which was good in itself, but that only worked on his particular figure. I don't know of anybody else that was able to replicate that. I haven't been able to as well. So uh, I don't think that that fix is is indicative of everybody's figure. I think that was just something that happened with his and he was able to show that to people. And he thought that that is what would fix it. Unfortunately, it really doesn't seem like that's the case. Now, one thing that I have noticed on mine, and again, this is on mine, so you guys are free to try it and hopefully it actually works for you. When you open this up, and I'm gonna zoom in here that you so you can kind of see it. Uh, there, first of all, there's the little catch that it's supposed to lock into, but you can see here at the top how it's indented across the top. It's like that on both sides if you bring this section you got both of these down if you bring this down and actually kind of tuck this underneath here then bring that in and then bring that in that will actually lock the arm so if that is tucked underneath and if you bring if it's all like that it won't lock it in so keep it tucked under and then actually then bring that in then that locks that shoulder into place. It's not a perfectly, I mean, you can shake it and it'll still come undone, but it makes it so you can actually do that. So again, come around here to the other side, take this section, you wanna tuck it underneath here, kind of groove it into that slot, angle this in and boom. Now that shoulder is also locked. Now what you do will need to do is angle these arms out here, just not this swivel joint so that you can actually get them to clear it. Cause if you keep them all the way in, Obviously, you're going to have a problem with it coming down to his thigh. So angle that out and keep it uh, however however you really want it. But yeah, see, I moved it. So as long as that stays in, that will stay locked into place. So hopefully that works for you. Um, if it does, fantastic. If not, I do apologize. But for me, it works. And I like it a whole lot better because of that. Now, my biggest problem is this head. Uh, as you can see, it's... It's really kind of sticking forward. Now, if I take it and kind of sink it in a little bit, and actually, it doesn't even stay down very well. Uh, I mean, it, it springs up. It's supposed to lock down, to be totally honest. At least I, I think it's supposed to lock all the way down. When I first got it and I first opened it, I pushed it down, it locked in, it stayed there. I actually had to wet, like kind of stick my finger in there and really kind of pull it out. But now it doesn't stay in at all and because it's constantly pushing it actually pushes up on this and it makes this the whole nose cone section when it's pegging in there a whole lot more of a pain in the butt but i don't like how it sits there like that or i mean it, there's really nothing you can do but uh i mean he, he's constantly looking down and that's obnoxious to me now there is a mod and i'm going to put a link down in the video description it goes to tfw and you can mod it and you can fix the shoulder thing i actually think it fixes the head actually locking it in a place fixes a whole bunch of different stuff and really all you need is a screwdriver and an emery board so kids if you have a screwdriver you can do it and an emery board is just something for your nails so your mom probably has one so you should be able to actually do that mod uh, i haven't done it i was I, i'm planning on doing it but i needed to to show you the actual figure in its out of the box state so uh, but overall a decent looking figure when, once i could actually get these arms locked into place it was a much more enjoyable figure uh, this still bugs me but um i mean what are you gonna do about that so i mean uh, hopefully that model actually keep the head i mean if it, if it stayed right there it'd be so much better but because it it lunges forward and you can really see it from the side it, it's just that little motion really kind of annoys me um so so that's it but this really is a very nice representation of g1 blitzwing and i absolutely love it now i don't like the gimmick with the face changing and all you do with that is uh you fold it down i think i don't, I don't even like doing it to be totally honest and it's very hard to actually 
do. Now, I have seen some people that have like opened this up and discovered that there's a lot of paint inside there, like the yellow paint in his head. It, it, it doesn't have any enjoyment. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. I, I, I guess I could be going the wrong way. I don't think it should matter which way it goes, should it? Uh, there we go. All right, so here you have the, the crazy face, uh, which... Uh, it's not even the crazy face. This this is the more, you know, fun kind of, hello, I'm Blitzwing, you know, crazy kind of Blitzwing. So there's that. Keep rotating that around. God dang it. That's, and, and, and I don't even, God, I, I, I don't like this gimmick at all. I, I, I think this should have been left alone. Uh, there's his, I don't, God, am I actually even rotating this around properly? I mean, what the, it doesn't even seem like the face is on there, right? I mean, uh, it's just really bad. Here, here's the, here's the smart face. Um, again, okay, whatever. Uh, I, I have no intention of ever utilizing these ever again, and I don't know if I'm breaking something or not, but there we go. And very frustrated with this. Don't like it at all. I'm leaving it right on that head. Uh, I, I don't like that gimmick. I, I really don't think it should be incorporated in here at all. This is a uh, Generations toy. Yes, okay, so it's celebrating 30 years of Transformers. That, that's perfectly fine. I don't see why they need to make a, a G1 aesthetic figure and then slip in a small little thing like that to, to harken towards the, the animated thing. I, I, I just, I don't like it. I, I really, really don't like it. I, I think it's poorly incorporated. It doesn't rotate very well. And then it makes the head a little bit too big, I think. I, I think if you got rid of that, you could have had the head be a little bit smaller and it would stay down there uh, a little bit better. So it's it just... My personal preference, some of you guys might actually really like that. I just can't like it. It, it, it's, it doesn't work very well for me. And I'm sorry if you guys do like it and you're not happy that I don't like it. I, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, in terms of this articulation, the head will rotate left and right. Uh, that is about it. It, it <laughs> Because of my my figure, it can kind of look up and down. The, the shoulders, as you, you can see, that's not locked in. You can rotate them around if you do it right. So uh, that's fairly ac actually cool. Uh, they rotate here, kind of at the shoulder, a little bit lower than the shoulder. Uh, this is more the shoulder area, but it rotates there. He also rotates at the bicep. He also bends at the elbow. The, the wrists don't do anything, which that kind of sucks. I would have liked some wrist articulation in there, I guess, but nothing at the waist. The hips here are on uh, just swivel joints, so they move forward and back. They move in and out. They rotate at the upper part of the knee, as you can see. That's where the knee is, and actually, he's got a really high knee. I mean, should be a little bit lower, I suppose. He's got very long shins, and then the feet here are on ball joints, so you can position those really however you want, and then just get him positioned, sort of. And then with his, uh, his accessories, he does come with the, the little gun. Peg that in his hand, just like so. But again, uh, you know, in terms of the des design aesthetic, uh, he doesn't hold his gun very straight because you've got this little section right here. Um, it doesn't, when, when you hold, have him hold it in there, he's holding the gun uh, crooked. So that's kind of ugly but i really like his sword uh here that is very cool looking sword uh, very very shiny well it's not even shiny it's, it's just purple oh. oh oh wow his his wrists do rotate all right i, I lied but uh now i can't i can't actually get him to hold his sword what the heck's going on here all right so there you go i, I you just have to really kind of push it in there to get it in there that's really kind of strange but I, I mean, in terms of the look of the guy, I really do like it. I, I think he looks very nice, especially here in his robot mode. God, that really is stiff. Uh, it's his alternate modes that I think really kind of suffer, and that that is unfortunately a, a side effect of triple changers through the dawn of Transformers, that one mode, or, uh, yeah, one mode is really going to be pretty good, and the rest of them are going to suffer. And for me, 
his best mode is right here in, in his robot mode. Now, is it without flaws? No, it's not. It's not a perfect figure by any stretch of the imagination, but it's still a nice figure, and it's still cool that Hasbro is listening to the fans and giving us what we want, that being triple changers again, and Voyager class triple changers at that. Really large triple changers. So, for a comparison, here is Blitzwing, and here he is next to Astro Train and Octane, and as you can see, I mean, there is a huge difference. Now, granted, you got some deluxe figures, you got some Voyager figures, but you can see a big size difference here. And this just is really impressive that they're giving us the, the whole Voyager treatment with these triple changers. Now, as I mentioned previously, that mod that you can do will pr pretty much fix his shoulders. Uh, it won't really do anything with the head. I went ahead and actually did the mod and discovered that, yeah, it really doesn't do anything to, to fix the head, but it does fix the arms. Now, what you're basically doing, and again, I'm gonna put a link down in the video description that'll take you to TFW 2005, as well as the YouTube video showcase in this what you essentially do and it's very simple all you need is a screwdriver and an emery board as i said you're going to remove that screw there that one that one and then there's two behind here in here you're going to remove them you're going to separate these two halves and what you essentially do then is take the emery board and file down the the plastic you can kind of see it zooming in here you can see how this is two halves you're filing down the plastic on the the inside here which brings the two halves closer together in doing so you actually then can bring the the little notch or you can take this section here you can actually then clip it into that notch here get that out of the way that little tab section right up there you can actually lock it in there without and if i can get it lined up there we go uh, without actually folding this section down and under and then when you do that you do push it down here a little bit and it locks it absolutely beautifully that's an absolutely terrific mod and, and you don't really have to worry about uh, sanding down too much because the the more that you sand down the more secure that it makes that joint i mean that is secure in there uh, this one is not as secure uh, i didn't file as much down on here but this one well, all right, that was a little bit more violent of a shake, but, uh, and then all you do really is just tab that in there, just like so on both sides, and it, as I said, dramatically fixes this figure in terms of uh, its shoulders and makes it a much more enjoyable figure when you can actually keep the arms pegged in. So wonderful mod and I highly recommend you do it if you get this figure. Now to transform him, we're going to go back to his, his jet mode first. So you want to rotate these arms around. You're going to take this, fold that out like so. Do that, get the little flaps out of the way. Do that on this side as well. Fold that out and then you're going to rotate these up like so up like so and then all these little bits here will detach and then just fold everything up just like so uh, this this nose cone thing is kind of tricky to do you kind of have to because like I said it doesn't clip down so you kind of have to hold it and then fold this under you know I mean the, the nose cone being a softer rubber really does make me concerned that because of the, the stress from this, it will uh, really kind of warp the plastic or, or stress it. So we'll, we'll worry about that here in a minute. You just got to rotate that around anyhow. Um, but it's, it's definitely something that I'm concerned about. Then take this. You're going to accordion this down and under right on, on the inside like so. And then take this section, rotate this down. And then you've got these little whole sections right here that this little notch tabs into. So just like so, do that on that side as well. Push that down, just like so. You're going to rotate these around, rotate them out so that you've got the wings here. Go ahead, pull those out, and then you can rotate that little flap underneath. Do that on this side as well. Rotate that, of course, you wanna bring these little feet together, just like so, and then rotate those out like that out like that and yeah, well something like that there no oops like so they're supposed to be like that there we go uh fold the wing out here fold that out and then like i said you got the little notch on the inside here well you got the little notch right there and then you got the little groove section that when you push it together you should hear a click clip into place just like so and then you got this bit right here line that up 
Give that a good little push just to secure the top section to the bottom section here. Do that on this side as well. Bring it in, give it a little push, kind of keep the wheels, or I'm sorry, the legs straight. Give that a little push. There we go, locks that in. Lock this bit in right there, and that pop that one out. There we go. Then just straighten out these little uh, rear thruster things, straighten that out. Bring that all the way out. And like I said, this, this cockpit thing is really kind of annoying. You have to hold that in, bring that in, and then you got a little uh, hole section here at the top that has to notch underneath here, which it's difficult. Uh, I'll be totally honest. It's not a very easy thing to do, especially with the head popping out. So you really have to force that and wiggle it. And like I said, I I'm really concerned about the, the, the plastic. And you can see it just pushes right back out. I mean, it it's not a very secure fit in here. And that's really very annoying. Um, well, well, maybe put it in and twist it. That that did it, I guess. Um, I mean, it's it it, it it's uh, this is probably something that uh, is the, honestly probably the worst part about it uh, is is this nose cone because it really feels like it's going to just push this out and end up ripping this tab right there. So it's very ooh, yellow paint. It's really very unfortunate. But here you have Blitzwing back in his uh, jet mode, and you can see it's pushing and slowly it's just pushing so it's just warping this little notch right here uh, more and more over time so really very unfortunate on that but this is his jet mode again uh, really uh, the weakest in my opinion of the two different uh, alt modes form so that's that's about it for it so uh, now to go into his tank mode go ahead and take these sections here pull these all the way out and then you want to pull all the way out like so then rotate these around you're going to bring the treads down on the bottom so bring these out this like i said just kind of slots in and give this a little push that might actually help it and that's a pain here wiggle this because like i said it only pegs in or slots up here so it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to there we go and then fold this all the way out yeah, I see that there. All right, there we go. Pull that out like so. Take the wing, bring that all the way in like so, and then you're going to rotate this around. And then bring this up, and then you're gonna see a little slot right inside here that that little tab is gonna go into. So just bring that up, push that in there. And then you really do have to kind of rotate these around to get them to to fit perfectly here at the at the knee joint so you want to make sure that that's as straight as possible do that on this side as well we're going to try doing this where i just push this whole thing uh, there we go just to see now there we go sort of slots it out and then just give that a good tug right there then again rotate this section out bring this down Rotate that around and bring that down and tab that in just like so. Then straighten this out. Take the, the cannon, you're going to rotate this all the way around and then take the canopy and this is going to detach and rotate around and store up underneath here just like so. And then you gotta, all this stuff pretty much in its position where it needs to go, you just now have to peg it all together. So straighten this out. And then, like I said, you got the little notch right here that you have to hook in. And, and this is a, a bit of a pain because you have to hook this in. And at the same time, uh, it hooks on, underneath here. So as you hook it, you have to lift it up and then slot this section right here but if you don't have it rotated properly it doesn't slot very well so it's really a th this part right here is really kind of a pain to to get it to properly attach on this uh, on the 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 tank treads here it, I, I don't like this gimmick or this section at all and it's hard to actually see in here and actually one thing that i forgot to do come around here and then you have to then separate these and lift these little tab pieces up just to kind of cover that up. I forgot to actually show you guys that. So bring those up 
and those will lock into place, fold that down. And they, they tab in along the side as well, but like I said, getting these to hook, once you get it hooked there, you then have to push it right there. Oh, perfect. That actually stayed there very nicely. Uh, see if I can do this side now and give that a little push right there. And something's pushing against it that doesn't want it to line up. See, and it's, that's a, a bit of a pain in the butt. There we go, get that up. I mean, it's kind of a fiddly mess here, getting this to, to work here. So, there you go. But see see how it like pushes out? It, it just, sometimes you can get it to lock in there fairly good. Sometimes you can't. If you don't get it to lock in here at the, the side, you have to rotate it here at the where the knee would be just to kind of twist it around to get it to push in a little bit. So, hopefully you guys could see that. You could see that it is a bit of a... Uh, a, a mess to do and then just rotate these around then basically uh, here you have him in his his tank mode and uh, it's it, it, it's the better of the two modes like I said but it's still really not all that great now the generations line really has come along and given fans what they've wanted for a very long time more classic style triple changers the problem with doing that is triple changers throughout their history have had a long standing kind of uh, love hate relationship some people really do like them some people don't and, uh, and honestly I, i'm more inclined to believe that more people don't like them than actually like them they love the characters uh, they're they're happy that they're getting the characters for them but the toys usually just really do fall short of a lot of people's expectations when it was un announced that we would be will be getting a blitzwing a lot of people were very excited when we started getting them in hand though that really changed a lot of people's opinions and that's honestly one reason why people have asked me for a long time to do videos of uh, like Toy Fair or San Diego Comic Con reveals based on the pictures we see and why I refuse to do them. Because everything that we can see looks fantastic. Once you get it in hand though, your opinion can change dramatically. Now, I was really very excited about Blitzwing when we first saw him and the toy has let me down. I'm still happy to have them, but there are a lot of glaring problems with them. The shoulders and the, the nose cone being one of them. Now the shoulders is something that you can fix. The nose cone being a soft rubber plastic, I think is just a design error in my opinion. Uh, I really don't think that they should have used that. And then everything else just kind of suffers from being a triple changer really and, and just not looking all that good. It does a decent enough job of conveying the, the alt mode that it's supposed to represent such as a tank and the fighter jet. And because it's that triple changer and you gotta incorporate three different modes into it, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of sacrificed just to kind of get all of those modes in there. So if that's okay with you, this is a figure that I definitely would recommend picking up. And if you do, I highly recommend, as I said, checking out those links down in the video description on how to mod this guy to make him better. And if you are interested in picking up this guy as well as the other figure, Springer, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Big Bad Toy Store and you can pick up this guy as well as Springer and add him to your collection. And I really think that people will be generally pleased. They're not home runs and they're not the best figures that we've ever gotten. There's a lot of really cool stuff that's involved in here. I just think the over complex nature of a triple changer really kind of screws screw some, some of those things up but I still think he's worth having in your collection but that's about it guys so once again I want to thank you for tuning in this has been Optobotomous keep in touch with me find our recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at facebook.com slash team and follow me over on twitter at twitter.com slash optobotomous and until next time I'll talk to you later